What's that? It's a mini hat. What do you do with it? Just... I don't know. <laughs> I think you're going to have to buy them and take them back to university. <laughs> Jeff, you can say hi. <laughs> or not. You can go over Release there, the yeah. hound. There will be a short interlude. He's seen a dog. Bear with. Editing Nick here. I realised we didn't actually do an introduction to this video. So we found a tabletop sale advertised in a village not too far from here. So we thought we would go and check it out. Despite the last tabletop sale we went to being pretty much a complete waste of time. So we were really hoping this one would be a bit better. So we went along and I filmed on the GoPro. It was really tricky to film in there. So I got what footage I could. We did then go on to a few charity shops. So we vlogged a bit of that as well. And then at the end, we've done a wrap up to share with you all the goodies we found. How much are the DVDs? 25p each or 5 for a pound. See what there is. Uh, just let me grab them all. You can tell. Let me know what you think would be fair. Um, this one there, and then there's all of these more modern ones. These as well. Oh, okay. I think that's it for Doctor Who. Bits. Oh, that's cool as well. Um, so, what would you think? Oh, you have. you find? Do you want to unpack? Yeah. You can have a rummage. I haven't seen any of your stuff yet. Well this is interesting. I've got a lid for it. It's, it's a mug. It looks like it's Japanese, I think. Might be Chinese. But I think probably oh, it's got Japanese. A strainer it's in got it. a strainer in it. Oh, I see. So, like a cheaper one. Nice. Yeah. Um, well, it might not be worth anything, but it was only a pound, and I thought it was interesting. I've got, I'll quickly do these. A couple of board games. I've never seen that here. Mega edition. 
and then basically loads and loads and loads of Doctor Who. Oh, Dad, if you're watching, um, you didn't see that. That might be yours. <laughs> Yeah, and a bunch more DVDs. At some point your dad's going to go, please stop buying me beds. Please stop buying me beds that sing. Well, this doesn't really sing. This goes... Cool. Is that a buzzard? I'm not sure. Not too sure. Um, little Bella Mine, a um, Bridgewater kids set. Nice. Um, oh, I saw you buy this when I was buying those, some of those DVDs. Yeah. Letter wrap. And then I bought two teapots. This one is Sadler. Nice. Um, What's in the other one? And that one is. I'll let you do it. Let's rip it. Needs a clean. Uh, it's Price Kensington. Little spongeware sheep. Blue sheep? It's got a lid. Never seen a blue sheep. Right, we just popped back in for another rummage and um, I noticed this. It's an HP Office Jet 8100. Uh, they had it marked at 30 and I got it for 20. I just did some uh, completed listing searches on eBay and these sell for top end of about 80 so I figured it was worth a punt on that I don't very often buy printers it's been a while there's a bunch of inks in there but I think they're all aftermarket ones oh no that's, that's a genuine but yeah so hopefully that will be 20 into 70 or 80 right we're we going back in for one last mooch I think so okay I didn't film that bit because I didn't expect to find anything else, but it's always the way. While we're out, we thought we'd do a few charity shops, so we'll have a look. What is that? It's a mini hat. What do you do with it? I don't know. Oh, they're creepy. Very, very strange. Very creepy. Right, what have we got? Oh, what's that called? Indian tree or something? Indian tree. <laughs> I tried to fill it up. Uh. Clap. I think you're going to have to buy them and take them back to university. <laughs> right, so these bits were, were ours. Both of those. Yeah. yeah, all in bits. All right. Yeah, thank Lovely. you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh, can't through it. Can they sit on top? Um, that one in there. Right, we're home again. And we thought we'd quickly wrap up this video and, and maybe share some highlights. And Jeff, you can say hi. <laughs> or not. Right, do you want to sit down? Yes. You can go over Release, the yeah. Release the hound. Right, well, hopefully you saw that we went to a tabletop sale and it was a lot better than the one the week before. Oh, it was a lot better. Um, 
Yeah, it was nice. Really not, we've not been to that village before. Lovely, great big fancy pants village hall. Mm, it was so nice. It was yeah. It was covered, well, it wasn't covered in trees, but there were trees all around it and it was just so peaceful. Birds were singing. It was beautiful. And we found some stuff. Um, and then we went on to some charity shops in that town. And then we've also now just been somewhere else. I don't think I filmed anything there. Um, <coughs> I bought some media. <laughs> yeah, we found lots of media today for really good prices. 10p, 20p, that sort of price. Um, highlights, I don't know. Another copy of Red Dead on the PS3. Great game, always sells. Doesn't hold much value anymore. Maybe five or six pounds, I think. These are quite good. Don't know if these will be in the video. Uh, if you see them, they are worth picking up. Janet and John. There's Terry Wogan. Was it a Radio 2 thing? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen... I sold these many times. I've, I've seen recently this, this set of three going for a top end of about £20. So we grabbed them. Um, yeah, a, a massive heap of Doctor Who, a lot of which is fairly common, but some of the, the stuff you want to particularly look out for is the earlier kind of reissues. I think it's these ones with the round circles on. I was quickly looking at those and bundles of those do really well. I think we've got six or seven of those and the rest of the more modern stuff, which I'll just bundle up. Um, but yeah, heaps of media. Heaps of heaps. What, what were your highlights then? Um, I got a couple of teapots. I got this one, which is Price in Kensington, and paid £2 for that. And I think I need to oh, read yeah. another one. That's the blue sheep one. And then I got this one, which is Sadler, and I paid £3 for that. Sorry, I had to go and strip off. I was I was boiling up. It's all the excitement of buying tat. Um, it, it's part of the classic collection and has a little leaflet inside it. So I've no idea what it's worth. I haven't looked it up yet, but I just thought it was worth three pounds. Oh, it's got. Is that the mallard? Did you just say that? I didn't say that. Oh, I, okay. I wouldn't know if that was the mallard. <laughs> I'm not a. I'm not a train spotter. But these are mine. <laughs> Tell us below, I think that's the mallard. Does it say? Does it say? I golden, know. oh, it's covered with a sticker. Mm. Oh, look, M-A, oh, made. <laughs> I thought I was gonna say mallard. But anyway, it's got a train on it. Yeah, that yeah. could be one of those worthless or worth something. Yeah, but one I thought list. it was worth three pounds anyway. Cool. Oh, Dad, if you're watching, look away. My dad has a few of these, which has now become a collection. So whenever we see them, we pick them up for my dad. These are the ones that give the birds call. Oh. Oh, so I've got to work now. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's meant to be a, a buzzard. <laughs> Here comes Jeff. <laughs> or, <laughs> he's heard What's it. That? You can't eat this. No. Yeah, Have one you... of these little singing birds to, to go to my dad's collection. Um, I've got a hardback early edition Goblet of Fire, um, probably go towards a bundle. I'll have a look, see if it's worth doing on its own. I got a set of kids, um, Emma Bridgewater, Melamine, cup saucer, and, no, cup, plate and bowl. Lovely. Which is quite cool. Um, yeah. And so was... a little brass letter holder. Oh. <coughs> couple of board games. <laughs> There's nothing that exciting there. Um, we did find, it's hopefully in the footage, a mega edition Monopoly, which we grabbed um, for, what was it, two or three pounds? I've just looked it up. It's not that great. It seems quite common. Oh, that's a shame. Um, but it was worth grabbing. Take the chance before, on it. Though. We could play it or before we sell it anyway. Um, Simpsons Cluedo, I've sold that so many times over the years. I don't think it holds a great deal of value. I think sort of 12 to 15 uh, all in, I think, on that one. But I love my board games. Good old downfall. 
Not the original great big long box, which is the one we had mm. as kids. And my mum's still got that at yeah, home. Yeah, she has. But isn't she using the bits for some, something else now? <laughs> is she? I don't know. Oh, and maybe the find of the day. This is a weird one. I think this was in the video. I bought a printer, which is not something I do very often to resell. But I had a hunch on this one. So I bought it. Yeah, it's a beast. Um, it is, I think I said before, it's an HP uh, OfficeJet Pro 8100. Um, I thought it looked like it was worth something. I quickly looked it up at the time and they're completing at 70 to 80. Um, so I, I picked that up for £20. We'll see. Hopefully we'll get the... 70 or 80 back on that. Did, yeah. Did you um, show I your curtains? Up, not yet. I picked up a couple of other things. Um, a planter. It's just stamped Italy on the bottom. So it was a pound. Thought I'd give that a chance. Um, and this was really interesting. It's probably absolutely worth nothing. But it was an interesting thing. It's a mug. Has a lid. And inside it has a ceramic strainer. Um, and I think it's Japanese. So, yeah. Just picked it up because it was a pound and I thought that was really interesting. So, you know, it might be worth a million two pounds. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, as Nick just said, I did buy some curtains, uh, which I think are going to go in one of our bedrooms. Oh, I didn't see um, these. There will be a short interlude. He's seen a dog. Bear with. Yes, yes, yes. Enough, enough, enough. Oh, <laughs> You'll want to come back in two seconds. Sorry realize, about that. You'll realise the dog is not at the garden and he'll want to come back. <sighs> uh, yeah, I got some curtain ties, tie backs as well. Are you done now? <laughs> Shh. We've sold this. Hmm. There's another dog walking past going that way now. It's going to see that one. Are you done now, Jeffrey? No. I think we've sold these very tie backs, brass ones, several times, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, I've, I've had remember. this particular design before. Well, very similar then. I've, I've, sold, I've, certainly... I've sold brass curtain tie backs before, yes. I have packaged a few of these in my time. But um, I'm not sure I've ever had this particular design they, before. You didn't buy these to go with our curtains, did I you? didn't, no. No, okay. So these are to sell? Yeah. Yeah, so go on the wall and you loop your curtain I think they're just they're a bit too ornate for our house. Yeah, I, I don't like them. <laughs> Right, so that's kind of it. Um, yep. There was other stuff, but we thought we'd just give you a quick highlights of our trip. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. It was a, it was a nice tabletop sale. Um, there were a few crafty stalls, um, which is fine. Um, we had a look, but didn't buy any crafty stuff, did we? We didn't, no. Um, yeah. And a lot, lot of families just having a clear out, which is ideal for us. Yeah, it was... Um... Yeah. It was a different balance last time, wasn't it? More craft stores, hardly anything where they were just clearing out. This time, I think it was more families clearing. Yeah, I don't think last time we even filmed in the craft store room. No. Yeah. Yeah. It was anyway. Good. It was good. It was a nice morning. There you go. That was a tabletop stall and a bit of a rummage and some charity shops. And we dropped Ellen at the station. She's gone back to uni. After her Easter break. Yeah, I'm going to miss her. 
Yeah, it's always odd when she's suddenly not here again. Anyway, um, we're now waffling. Thank you very much for watching. As ever, we will part the ways and plop a video in between our faces. Check this one out. Take care. See you soon. Bye.